Hey guys, Edwin Evers here. And uh, I want to talk to you about a bait that's a great alternative. I wouldn't even just say an alternative. It's, a, it's just a great bait that you need to have in your arsenal. It's one that I've been really excited about, one that I, I've gained a lot of trust and confidence in since I've been over at Mega Bass. And it's, it's what's called their Mega Bass Flap Slap. It's a very thin bait. It's a very tight bait uh, for cold water situations, uh, for, for pressured situations, for clear water situations. Um, it's a bait that I've got tied on almost year round. Uh, it's, it's one that I had a lot of success on that I actually found my fish in this previous classic at Gunnersville when that water was really cold. Uh, man, they were crushing this thing. They'd had this thing down in their throat. And what sets, sets it apart from a lot of other baits is, is that action that it has. It's just a really tight action. It's a quiet bait. So, you know, if you're going down a stretch of, of bank and you're throwing a, a rattling, you know, say a, a Vibration X or, or some sort of rattle bait or, or a rattling type crankbait, you turn back around and you go back through that same stretch or maybe you didn't get any bites and you go back down it with a flap slap. It's a silent, really subtle bait that, you know, some of these lakes we're fishing these days has a lot of pressure and, and it just, it's a bait that, that man, I'm, I'm it, I'm just amazed at how well it works. Some of the things that I do with this bait, you know, like in the classic, I was weighting that bait. I was adding a couple of suspend strips there on the belly because I wanted to pause it. I'd reel it down and I'd pause it just, and that's when they were killing it. So, um, you know, it's one thing you can do to that bait to change it a little bit. I throw this bait on a lot, most of the time, 10, 12 pound fluorocarbon. There are times that I'm trying to get it a little bit deeper on eight pound test. Uh, it's a bait that's gonna dive three to five on the regular flap slap and then the diving flap slap, you can expect to get that bait six to eight feet uh, with that bill. Uh, when I'm choosing colors, you know, really with anything, I choose solid colors for stained water, for cloudy conditions, uh, and I choose more transparent colors for, for clear water situations, for sunny days, calm conditions, or really highly pressured situations. So like this sexy French pearl right here is one of my favorite colors for, for stained water, cloudy days, uh, just an awesome color for those things. Um, Right here, I got GP Sexy Shad. You'll notice you can see through that bait. A great bait when it's really, really clear. Um, you know, sunny, tough conditions when you wouldn't think you'd get a bite on a crankbait. This is the one I'll go to and get a lot of bites. This is just our regular Sexy Shad, just a great in-between, cloudy day, maybe uh, right in the middle of the road. Uh, Tennessee Shad, the HT Tennessee Shad, it's just a, a half color right there. Uh, the, half, the bottom half's clear, so another great bait for those real tough conditions. Um, you know, lastly, I throw that bait on a seven foot medium action rod, um, anywhere from a five to one gear ratio reel all the way up to seven to one, just depending on what I'm trying to achieve. You know, you, you've got to experiment with those retrieves any time of the year to figure out what they want. You know, there at the Classic, you know, early on they really wanted that pause, and then as that Classic progressed, it was a deal I had to start burning those baits. So, um, it's a bait that you gotta have in your arsenal. It's one I hate talking about. It's one of those things when you have a little secret, you kinda like to keep it to yourself. People here at Mega Bass said, yeah, I gotta start talking about it. So it's the Mega Bass Flap Slap. You got two different versions, the diving and uh, just the regular Mega Bass Flap Slap. Awesome baits.